Hello. My name is, uh, <laughs> this is weird. My name is Greg. Um, and I thought that I would um, make a YouTube video <laughs> for about pipe smoking. I've seen a lot of people do it recently. I don't know, I'm pretty late to the party uh, regarding this, but I just recently got back into the hobby <clears throat> pretty hardcore. Uh, not really at all actually, but uh, more than I was recently. And uh, for that reason I thought maybe make a video. I just recently bought a couple of things, so I thought I'd make a video quickly, show you what I bought, show you where I'm at, introduce myself. Um, okay. Well... I live in London, South London, in England, you might be able to tell from my accent. Oh, I'm not used to this, obviously. I'm smoking my Mr. Brog, super cheap, my first ever pipe. It's like a, what, bent apple or a bent pot or something, I don't know what shape that is. I don't think they make these ones anymore. Bought this like four years ago. Uh, first ever pipe. Uh, really good smoker, actually. And I'm smoking it. Yeah. One thing I bought recently, which is Peter Stockerby's Balkan Mix, which uh, really enjoying. At the moment, literally like eighth of a bowl down though, so I just started it. Uh, this one here, is that the wrong way around? Don't know. Um, I'm assuming it's the same as Balkan Supreme, which NW Pipe Smoker smokes, I think. Um, I wanted to try that out, but it's just called Balkan Mix over here, I think. I could be wrong, but I think it's the same. Um, it's good, it's not really Latakia-y. I mean, it's got a bit in there, but it's not like Nightcap or a couple of the other Englishes I had. Um, uh, I think even Squadron Leader had more than that. I uh, might be able to tell from where I'm speaking about it is I'm not that experienced. Uh, on and off smoking for like pipes for about four years and cigars sometimes. Uh, yeah. Been watching YouTube pipe smokers for. Uh, about the same time really. I started with uh, cigar smoking. Find found that guy, cigar obsession, Brian Glenn, I think his name is. And he sort of just reviews cigars basically. Pretty strict regime of what he does, I think. Uh, and then I sort of started running out of money, so at university at the time, and I thought of a cheaper alternative to it got a pipe and yeah it took me a while I think I prefer piping now I was gonna smoke my plan was to smoke this Samuel Gareth Balkan plug which I've cut up and I actually rubbed out a bit but when I rubbed it out it was super wet and I couldn't be bothered to wait uh, for it to dry out, so I just sort of put some of this Balkan mix in, which is actually pretty much ready to go. I think I packed it a bit tight, but yeah, I'm gonna relight this a little bit. I think. Um, but moisture wise, it's great. Um, okay, so yeah, what we said, my name's Greg. Live in South London, smoking a pipe for about four years, uh, but not like loads, like three, four times a week maybe. I'm not a everyday guy at all. Um, yeah. Okay, I'll just show you what I bought recently, I guess. Talk about it, and then I'll make shove this up. Hopefully, I'll be able to do more videos often. Uh, it seems like a lot of people have left since, uh, cause, like, I had a bit of a break, like six months break. Got very busy with working and things. Didn't smoke that much because smoking does affect my work a little bit. Um, 
so <clears throat> yeah, I can't smoke all the time. Um, I should keep it going. Oh, inside, don't often smoke inside. It's kind of like my office space, kind of in my mum's house. Don't live with my mum, but my office space is still here. And uh, yeah, what else can I say? I guess if you ever watch this, have any questions about me, why I'm doing this, I don't really know. Put me in the thing below. All right, so was going to order from GQ Tobaccos. However, I went on their website and they no longer sell tobacco. Well, they do, just getting rid of the stock. Because of the FDA rules, I think, he decided <coughs> to. And I watched all of his YouTube channel videos, basically, back in the day. Which was quite sad, really. Because I liked him. I had loads of tasters from, well, a few tasters from him. I had this English blend taster pack. I've got a load of, like, blending tobacco. I've got a load of, um, not a load of it, but like a load of samples of it that he, I bought from him, uh, or his website. Bought this Vulcan plug from him. And so that shows you how old it is, because I bought it like a year ago. Uh, since the label's all like brown and horrible. But uh, there's actually crystals on this plug when I cut it up. Uh, so maybe that will be good for ageing and stuff. Anyway, long story short. I had to buy it from um, My Smoking Shop at the UK in England. They seem to have a really good variety of stuff. And I've been wanting to try both of these things. But I bought, they had both, decent price. Most places will have this, but there's also other stuff like Peter Stockery stuff that I wanted. And I was going to get some more of the Syrian Latakia by McClintock. But I decided not to because I am kind of on a budget <laughs> with my pipe smoking, so I didn't. I decided not to buy loads, so I've sort of had to cut down my shopping trolley a little bit. And because I'd already had some of that before, like a 25 gram thing, less than that, pretty new to it, so I thought I'd stick to stuff I haven't had before. That's the idea behind it, anyway. People complain about keeping this pipe going, and I can see where they're coming from, big time. Not getting much smoke out of this, but... Tastes quite nice though, so I should probably not worry about it. So, first one up. Uh, Arcadian Perique HH. HH, Arcadian Perique by Mac Barron. Um... I've had a couple of vapors before. I've had Elizabethan mixture, and like a curly cut thing from my local shop. Uh, but they changed the name of all their things. So I don't actually know what it is. But I'm pretty sure it's been pretty in it. The person in the shop doesn't really care that much about pipe stuff, so I don't think she knows either. Anyway, so I wanted to try one with maybe a bit of extra perique. Um, again, I wanted to go for that. I think it's called the Bayou Blend or something that JQ, GQ rather, tobacco did. But I guess um, it's they don't do it anymore. And then I'm running out of time. It's ten minutes. That's ridiculous. Okay, uh, vintage Syrian is the next one. Same McBaron. I had the Syrian Latakia here last time. I really like that one. It stood out. There was four they sent. Uh, squid and leader, tree mixture, uh, vintage letter here, and something else, I can't remember. That was the one that stood out, so I wanted to try it. Because, you know, I've had a few different letter blends, but that one was really, really good. I thought maybe the Syrian letter key was the issue, the, the thing in it. It might not be. So I thought I'd try that one. And then, like I said earlier, I've got loads of uh, blending tobaccos, like Perique on its own, letter key. And they send you this little corn cob to go with it. It's tiny. It's really hard to keep lit. So, bought a new. I think it's got a Morgan shape. Bigger bowl. Should hopefully have a little bit better time, and I should get a decent amount of chunk in there that I can sort of smoke and really 
know the difference between each one. Right, well, we're talking loads. I will stop talking now and leave stuff for other videos. So actually, I'll talk about cheers, mate.